Next question is from Chechi CR. What do you think about earthing or grounding? Okay, so I like it, but not for the reasons that they say. Okay, so the, the, the theory with earthing and grounding has something to do with the electrical charge. Not like what you brought up in the intro. Yeah. Where you're uh, digging holes. No, not yeah. okay. <laughs> that's, that's not kind of, earthing? No. <laughs> okay. What are you doing over there? I'm yeah. earthing the ground. <laughs> or earthing it, dude. Yeah, all right, keep earthing. No, it's, um, uh, so the theory is that you have these, these charged, you know, uh, the earth has a different electrical charge that you put your bare feet on and it balances out the electrical charge. It's good for your body. Something along those lines. I don't think that's why it's valuable. I think it's valuable because the bottom of your feet are full of nerve endings. 7,000. And, and the brain is connected to all those nerve endings. And because you, your feet are constantly covered, and that, not just covered, but then you got rubber soles on top of them, that part of the brain that processes that atrophies and you lose connection to your feet and lose connection to those nerves and how they feel. So I think walking barefoot on grass and on the ground and on different things is good because it develops the muscles of the feet and it also develops the brain, the connection to those nerves. And I think that's why people see benefit. I don't think it has to do with the electrical charges of the human body. Electromagnetism. And the, yeah. No. Well, since I'm, since I'm married to the woo woo girl, I'm not, I'm not discounting the, the, what the, so what this reminds me of. And I know you'll agree with this. It's very s similar to like, uh, the way like massage therapists have been communicating, like the energy in your body, yeah. the way it moves and stuff like, like that. Meridians and all that. But you know, so I think the language around it we're just not there yet. Exactly all the benefits. I could agree with that. And I agree. I 100, the way, what got me to get behind it was what you said, right? Cause like you, I have that side of me. That's like so anti woo woo. But if you show me some science to support, like, like, oh, that's very obvious to me. Nerve endings in the feet. Mm -hmm. You're not connected to the ground. It's literally like, could you imagine working out in big old snow gloves all the time, or just always having gloves. Yeah, on, right? exactly. Yeah, trying to write with a pencil, do you things. You would lose so much of your ability in the. In yeah, your, you'd be your, terrible. Yes. You would be terrible the way you write. You'd Dude, be terrible. Mark Wahlberg's pulling it off. Full finger gloves. That in what the hell, man? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you, so th that part is very obvious to me, right? And and uh, and especially now that um, I remember after I met with Doctor Brink and you know really started to break down my own feet and realize how many problems that people have mm -hmm. that are stemming from the feet and the, that that starts with being connected and grounded and being able to actually grip the the, the floor and if you'd always yeah. have gloves on or shoes and socks on you don't ever train those muscles right yeah so, i like it just for being conscious of like being able to articulate your toes individually and being able to feel uh you know a little bit of a slight roll like in your ankle and being able to adjust based off of the surface and uh there, there's just so much value to that like you could think of it as like you're just atrophying your your muscles and your whole uh you know support system there in your feet by always like casting them in these shoes so these these are the the physiological things Things that we know are backed by science that mm -hmm. we can all get behind. I still think there's something else there too. There's something about when you take your shoes off and you just walk through some grass or dirt or the sand on the beach and stuff like mm -hmm. that. It's just, it's an uplifting feeling connected to the earth. It, it connected and, to nature. And I what I, a big piece. And I feel like that's the woo woo part that, that they, they try to explain. That they try and explain. I, I, I can I can get behind that because I mean we evolve that way. Let's be honest. Uh, mm -hmm. We could create. Let me put, let me give you a different way, uh, a different example. We could create a fake sun, right? We could create a lamp that produces all the same UV rays on us, but it would still probably feel different than being out in the sun because we evolved for millions of years touching the earth with our skin mm -hmm. so i could i could get behind that there's probably more to it i you know I, the part that i explain is the part that i know for sure right yeah. that i can explain yeah, yeah i think it's somewhat of like we're adapting with our environment instead of like trying to create your own environment uh you know to navigate your way through instead you're working with the different you know terrain of the environment yeah, yeah. you know it's funny when you with these people who you know especially modern hunter gatherers that are still barefoot we think, oh, their feet must be so thick with calluses and numb like shoes. And that's not true. They do have calluses, but their feet are far more sensitive than ours. And I don't mean sensitive like they're, they're ticklish or whatever. That's not sensitive. That means we can't process the sensations. That's why we can't handle certain things on our feet. Their feet are much more functional, and they can feel things underneath, adjust their weight, adjust their toes, climb things. 
things that we would have difficulty doing even with shoes on. So, and, and here's a deal at some, you know, now as adults, I'm sure there's a part of our brain that now is permanently never going to be like it could have been had we always done this as oh, children. Oh, it's definitely. I mean, I've put a lot of work in trying to work on my, and I've, I've come a long way, but I'm still unbelievably disconnected. You're, you're, look, it's like learning a language when you're older. You're always going to have an accent, right? So, I bet mean, your son, though, you can see the difference in your son. Well, and that's uh, what mm -hmm. I'm excited, right? I'm yeah. excited that, uh, you know, I have this boy that I could have, I didn't have the knowledge as a young boy to do this, and I'm watching him. And I'll tell you something right now, like that, that was obviously, there was contention in the family about me pushing that so much, but my son skipped that wobbly fall and hit your head phase. Like he literally did that. He felt he feels the floor. He had it for like maybe a week, dude. Like a week of when he went from not being able to walk to walking. There was that small transition. He is so unbelievably stable all the time. Like he does. I've never. We haven't had the only you know, one time. Do you remember me told the yeah, story? She put shoes on. She put <laughs> the one time Max has fallen over and yep. bumped his head and hurt himself was the first time that she put shoes on him outside. Dude, I was watching old mm -hmm. home videos uh, when I was a kid, and back in those days, doctors actually used to tell moms. When your baby starts to walk, put very strong supportive shoes on them yeah. to help them walk. And baby shoes, they used to make them. They'd have like stiff soles. Wood. They'd have those wood. They were like yes, a, yeah, I with remember. a heel on it, and it was like, and they would you would feel it would be like Crazy. like little casts. Yeah. And they said it was to help your baby walk. Well, anyway, I'm watching these old home videos, and there I am as a baby, and I see myself trying to walk in these damn shoes, and I'm like. Really trying hard not to like get mad that's at my mom. That's where your athletics went. Yeah, that's what happened right yeah. there. You know what's cool too? <laughs> this is why. This is why is, I'm not good we at figured it out. You know what I love about it too is that it's. I mean, he's what is he now? A year, a little over a year and a half, and I trained him so well now that like I don't feel like I'm ever going to have to even have the discussion because he hates socks and shoes on. Mm -hmm. Like he don't even want him. Have a Ben Greenfield, bro. He don't even want <laughs> it. <laughs> totally. He don't even want him on his feet because you, you could tell he wants to be. And I, I love it. You can see his feet working all the time when he's sitting down in a squat and stuff like that. I can see his toes all moving around. I'm like, oh my God, dude. Like I feel like that's going to make such a difference in him later on in life just with movement in general because he is so grounded and connected. That's awesome.